everyone. Welcome to Yankee Now with Melly Mel. I'm Melissa. Today, I'll be showing you my latest Disney pin haul straight from Disney World. Stay tuned. Alrighty guys, so today I'll be showing you my latest Disney pin haul straight from Walt Disney World in Orlando. I picked up this pin towards the end of August. It is not going to be a very long video because I only have four pins to show you, but I feel like these pins deserve their own video. So let's get started. The first pin I am going to show you is the latest Disney Rewards 2023 pin. These are the pins that the Disney Visa releases for their card holders. I believe they release one either twice a year or four times a year. I forget. For sure twice, but I don't know why I'm thinking they do about four a year, but it's probably two. <laughs> don't mind me. Um, I have been collecting the Disney Visa pins for a while now because I am a Disney Visa card holder. And this pin came out some time ago. I was just waiting to actually go to the parks and get it in person just because I figured they were still going to have some, right? This one features a Cheshire cat. It is a pin and pin design. It's actually really cute. It does have like a little banner hanging down that says, Disney Rewards 2023. Again, limited release, and the retail price for this was $17.99. Let's see some close ups. I think this actually is a really nice pin. I love how the backer card goes so nicely with the pins. I love the different tones of pink and like fuchsia and lavender on here. And here we have a closer look at the pin. Like I said, it is a pin on pin design featuring the Cheshire Cat from Alice in Wonderland. And here we have the back of the pin again, limited release, and it does have that little Mickey head like gemstone on the back, which again, we've known that this is now to make sure you know you are getting authentic Disney pin. All right, so the next pin I'm gonna show you also came out some time ago. This is the Celebrate Friendship Day 2023 pin. It features Coxworth and Lumiere. Now Beauty and the Beast is my main pin collection. This is a limited release pin, $17.99. Now, for some reason, I am not too sure whether I already have this pin or not. I was like on the fence of whether to get it or not. So I need to actually gather all of my pins just to Make sure I don't have this already, but in case I didn't have it, here it is. You see, these are the problems of a pin collector when you have way too many pins and you have some pins that are waiting to be put up on boards. It's kind of hard to keep track of them and sometimes you are not too sure whether you have that pin or not. So hopefully I don't have it, uh, but here is the pin. The backer card is so cute too. It kind of reminds me of that purple wall in Epcot. It's a pin and pin design. It has a bit of like the stained glass element in the back. And here we have the back of the pin. Alrighty, so continuing here, the next pin I'm gonna show you um, is a pin that I was on the fence. I wasn't sure if I was gonna get it either, just because I am not a fan of like the cutesy, like baby, like animation, chibi style pins i did not like those pins there's something about them that i just don't like them um but when i saw this pin i thought it was cute i mean it's a pin on pin design and it took me a minute or two to make the decision but i did it i ended up getting the disney darlings bell pin it's a limited edition pin 1999 it is a pin on pin design but it's actually kind of like two pins in one because Belle actually detaches as another pin. So I thought that it was actually um, cute. So I ended up getting it. Let me show you close-ups. And then you can remove Belle. Her bedroom looks so cute. I love the little rose accents on it. And at the bottom, I love the book. It's very cute. And here is the back of the pin. It's limited edition of 2500. And here is Belle by herself holding 
the enchanted rose and here's the back of that pin and here we have the final pin this pin also came out a little bit ago maybe about a month ago or so and it features roger rabbit it's part of the disney 100 decades pin this is limited release it's almost like a mini jumbo it's 34.99 it's a really really nice pin and again it does feature roger rabbit jessica rabbit is like my second main pin collection and of course you know roger too so i think this pin was actually really really nice i love how he's kind of like uh popping out of like the brick wall and then there are some like rubbery accents on the pin as the bricks are kind of coming out of the wall and it's a pin on pin design and it's also has like a glittery accent in the background so there's like a lot going on in the pin and i really really like it again 34.99 limited release and here we have that closer look i really really like it again you can kind of tell the rubbery accents on the pin and you can also see it's a pin on pin design and that silver background is kind of glittery. So it's a really, really nice pin. Here we have the back. It does have the logo for Disney 100 limited release. It does have that little Mickey head made out of like gems. Another cool thing is that the backer card actually opens up. So we get some information on the pin there. So let's read a little bit. It says, travel back in time through the last 100 years of the Walt Disney Company with this enchanting limited series crafted by Disney artists. This collection offers a chance to celebrate our most beloved characters and how they come to life on screen from the 1920s onward. Every decade captures hearts and imaginations all over again. Go on a magical journey through the years with pieces that embrace the dreamer in us all. Now, so on the one side here, it says, who framed Roger Rabbit? Shave and a haircut, two bits. Who Framed Roger Rabbit is a live action slash animated film which was released on June 22nd, 1988 when a cartoon star Roger Rabbit is suspected of the murder of Marvin Agme head of Acme Corporation and owner of Toontown, a jaded private eye, Eddie Valiant is called in to investigate. On his journey, Eddie realizes the importance of laughing through hardship and letting go of the past. The film won four Academy Awards for film editing, sound effect editing, visual effects and a special achievement award in animation direction and that's it you guys again today's video was short but i just wanted to show you my latest pin purchases straight from the disney parks i think these pins are all very special in their own way but out of everything that i showed you my favorite is definitely the roger rabbit pin a bit on the pricier side but it's a really nice pin let me know in the comments down below which pin was your favorite and let me know if you have bought any pins lately and what did you get as usual if you love the things that i talk about definitely subscribe comment like and hit that notification bell so that you can keep on geeking out with me bye